Remember that really popular movie? They used this line. How did it go? Stupid is what stupid does. Yep. Welcome to my beautiful recording studio right here in Los Angeles, overviewing the whole Los Angeles area. And you are watching GIV TV. And this is what you see when you look out of my recording studio. Los Angeles, the sun is about to set. Wait a second. If I use my car as a recording studio, is my car actually a tax write-off, the whole car? Hmm, I have to look into that. Well, I want to address something from last night where I'm going to hold this microphone here. It's not working really, so I'm just going to put it away. The joke is already done. So this morning I get a phone call from my mom and she said, Mike, do you still have your marbles in your brain? Is everything okay with you? I can't believe you've done a video like you did last night in Marina del Rey. And uh, me thinking about it right now, it was pretty scary. And at the time, it wasn't really that scary for me. So I want to explain something to you. First, I want to say thank you very much for all your concern. All the people, they say, Mike, stay safe. Stop doing stuff like this. And um, I appreciate you worrying about me. And here's what happened. So I get this phone call last night and my friend, she lives in Venice and she says, Mike, I can't believe I hear all those police sirens and I hear the helicopter, something is going on. Go check your um, citizen app. So I'm open up the citizen app and I actually see that um, there's like a shooting going on in Marina del Rey. And I was like, man, do I really want to go there? By the time I'm there, they already uh, done everything. So I said, nah, I don't really want to go. But then on the other hand, I'm thinking it's Saturday night. I filmed all day a video for you guys and I have nothing to do right now. So why not go down there? If there's nothing going on, I can still go home, you know? It took me a while to go down to Marina del Rey because traffic was pretty bad on a Saturday night. And when I got there, I parked my car, I got my little scooter and um, I'm riding my scooter right there to the hotel. And me getting there, I see a lot of people standing around like all those neighbors, they all have their little cell phone and um, they're recording what's going on over there. I see the SWAT team, I see the helicopter, I see about 20 police cars. And I'm not thinking anything bad, that something bad can happen because I think there's so much police that everything is under control. And then I'm looking a little bit down and I see Scott. Scott is the guy, he's a night crawler, he's a professional. He makes money doing what he does. He recording like uh, crime scenes or whatever is going on in Los Angeles. And I see him, I talk to him and he tells me what's going on. And while are we talking, we hear gunshots, pop, pop, pop. And we're standing behind this tree and he actually hears where the shot is going. And um, then I realized this is not, this is not a joke. So I jumped over the little wall and I was kind of like hiding behind the wall and I put my phone up to record. And I must say, that's when I realized sometimes you do stupid stuff, but in the beginning, I didn't really expect something to happen. The guys next to me, they were also filming and they were recording for TikTok or Instagram. You know, they everybody wants to get some views and doing a cool story. So everybody's like, wow. And people always comment on my video. They said, oh, well, you just do this for the views. We didn't sign up for stuff like this, Mike. So... I want to tell you something about that. When I first started doing my YouTube channel, I had no idea that you can actually make money doing YouTube videos. And yes, now that I make a living doing it, before I didn't really care about views. I didn't care about nothing. I just wanted to do a good video. Now, a lot of YouTuber, after a few years, they say, nah, we don't really care about the views. I don't think that's the truth, you know. I'm telling you the truth. Yes, I do care about the views because now... If you have a lot of views, you make more money. And if you make a living, that means um, you make more money. And of course, you always want to film something that gets a lot of views. But the thing is, you never know how much, how many views you're going to get. 
believe me or not, the video I just done nine or ten days ago about Beverly Hills, it should be by right now one million views. And I really have no idea how that works, you know. Some videos they do really good. And I didn't do this video because I'm thinking I'm getting a lot of views. No, I want to do a good video. And I think the video I've done yesterday right there was a really good video. Because when you see the streamers, there's like five or six streamers. They have their camera set up and they film only one area. Me, I'm trying to walk around. I show you the whole scenario, what's going on, where people are standing, what's happening. So you can actually get a view what's happening. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to come here because right now there's people standing in front of my recording studios taking pictures. They're talking loud and somebody pulled up next to me and playing loud music. So sometimes it's not good to park your recording studio where there's a lot of people. But I'm trying to continue what I was saying right here. And yes, you've probably seen what was going on on the news in Marina del Rey. But they only show you like little clips from the car standing there, the police standing there. You have no idea about the whole situation. So I'm there to show you exactly what's happening while I was there. And that's what I try to document. All my videos I do, I try to document being out there at night doing this, being there. I just want to show you what it is or what it's like to be right there where I am at that moment. And I think I did a good job. And we don't really know that something like this happens in Marina del Rey. This is like an upper class neighborhood. There's not that much crime there. So who would ever thought that something like this is happening over there? And all the police that was there and all the stuff that was going on. So, wow. Sometimes I'm just uh, talking and talking and I, I forget what I was trying to say. See, this is what really distracts me when people are leaning against my car and taking picture for Instagram, nice sunset. Yeah, shake your hair a little bit. That looks good. Yeah, that's a really good picture. You want to stand there too? No, I had enough, so she wants to go to a different location. Trying to turn on here my studio lights so we get a better view because it's getting dark in here and it starts fogging up again because I'm talking, I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? I don't know. What else did I wanted to tell you? So it was... A dumb situation I was in because I could not leave. I had my scooter on the other side of the wall and that was really exposed. I didn't want to jump over, get my scooter and haul out of there because that would have been a little bit dangerous. So I was hiding behind the little wall and I was just waiting it out. And later on, when everything was clear, people walked around and some of the footage I actually filmed when it was saved, when they arrested the guy already. And today I saw on the internet the weapons he used. I'm going to put the picture right here. It's unbelievable. If you know about guns, if he actually shoots it and sometimes it just doesn't really have to hit you somewhere, just kind of like touches your arm, you can die from that too. And you don't really want to realize it, how dangerous the situation is because... I was never really in a place where they were shooting, you know, like where something can happen. You always see that on television, but you really think nah, nothing is going to happen. And that's the mistake I'm doing a lot. Sometimes when I go places that in the middle of the night, I don't really feel any fear or danger because I don't think nothing can happen. But it always something can happen. And there's also something that some people don't understand. Some people, they get a kick of what they do. Some people don't understand. They say, how can you be there? You know, I'd rather stay at home. There's people, they jump off that building, remember? Like with the parachute. They walk around on a high-rise building and on this little edge right here. And they film down there. I would say, those guys are crazy. I can't believe they're doing this. But... They have like an urge to do it. I tried to explain that before. Those people that live to do stuff like this, they, only, they don't do that only for the views. Yes, stuff like this gets a lot of views because nobody else does it because it's dangerous. But they get a kick out of it. And I watched another video on TikTok. This guy, he's going into caves. The cave is only that high. So he's like 
trying to go to that cave that he doesn't even know if there's like a an where he can go out or not so he's kind of like inside the cave can barely breathe duh why would people do that for some reason that guy gets a kick out of it or i can't explain it and i feel the same way when i was there yesterday filming my ad my adrenaline is pumping a little bit i feel good i want to do a good video it excites me you know and and some people say i would never do that yeah there's things you do i would never do there's people that go into <laughs> coachella right now i don't think i would ever go to coachella you know <laughs> coachella is probably not dangerous but uh that's what i'm saying everybody has a different thing they like and that's what i wanted to tell you too i don't really need to explain all this but why not i'm just when i see that i did a mistake and uh and i'm thinking about it now that i'm sitting here safe it was dumb to stand like there like nothing can happen to you i could be in a hospital i could have been dead right now so i'm glad nothing happened and i have to think a little bit more the next time but like i said you can never really plan for anything you walk in the mall i was yesterday in the mall shooting a video for you guys and then i come home at night and i see in australia was it the guy killed or stabbed five people in the mall a place where you never would expect something to happen you know so life is crazy and the bad thing is you might be always try to be safe and do everything but there's other people that can influence your life and you know that you're driving somebody's drinking he's going to hit you in car and they survive and the person who has nothing to do with it dies happens so many times you know it's just crazy life is crazy you just gotta make the best out of it i believe and i'm talking and i'm talking and look there's the heart from the last time but it fogs up my windscreen right here my windshield it's like things happen you know this person came here five minutes ago and they keep let letting the car run and run and run you hear the motor why would you stand right here park your car and let the motor run the whole time. It makes me crazy. It bothers me doing my video here. You hear that? I guess stupid is what stupid does. That's why they use that phrase all the time. <laughs> Some YouTubers don't care about stuff like this. You know, they're just doing their thing. They just kept talking. Uh, this is this ambience noise in the background, but me makes me nuts. You want to hear it even more? And then the bass, I don't even know what she's listening to. You're getting a contact high too. But just open your window here. Nope. It bothers me so much. I gotta leave. And she still has the motor running. People enjoying the sunset. Mike, the last few videos you've done, I didn't sign up for that. Signed up for that? What did you sign up for? You probably didn't even subscribe to my channel. So what are you complaining about? Just if I don't like something, there's this little button right there. You just click on it and watch something else or turn it off or there's millions of other things you can watch. That's a good thing about it. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the parking structure at Trader Joe's. I'm going to get some nice food tonight. I'm going to get a salad and a nice chicken breast and uh i just now that i more realize how dangerous the situation was i'm really happy that nothing happened thank you for your concern i also want to say thank you very much for 
one million views on my Beverly Hills video. Thank you. Without you, it wouldn't happen. I also want to say the people that supported me the last couple of days on PayPal, I seen some of them. I did not write everybody back. I will do that in the next couple of days. Thank you so much. If you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Something is missing. I don't know. Give me a second here. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Ready to pair. Are you ready? ready, ready, ready. Are you the ready Bluetooth to rumble? All I wanted to say is thank you, thank you, and I see you in my next video. Tschüssing! Wait a second. I almost caused my mom a heart attack, so... Mom? Those are for you. Hopefully in the future I'm not gonna do crazy things like this anymore. Tschüssing!